Alright guys, welcome back to Penumbra Overture. This is part 11. When we last left off, we made this death cure thing, which apparently is very, very, very extremely explosive. And I have to navigate this mess with it in my hand. And if you, like, bump it against anything, it'll blow up. So... So, yeah. Oh. What is this? Hey! Nail that on the first try, though. Okay. Auto save. And there's a fuse, right? A nice dry fuse. Uh. Running, 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 running. I don't know how far I need to run. Can I. Assume that's far enough. Yep. Oh! Perfect! Well, I mean... Ugh. I don't know what I mean. I mean, I mean I'm a scrub. But... I think we all already knew that. So... Maybe I don't need to run as far as I did. I don't know. Let's watch it. Yeah! Uh, it's not clear. In the name of progression, I shall progress through this game. As we go further down into the mine, what an excellent idea. This... I don't know what I'm going to say no more. I'm probably really, really, really close to the end of the game. Oh, come on, I made it through the whole entire last episode without my mouth doing that. Lock. Thank you. Can I just take a pickaxe to it? Or is that not how this works anymore? Alright, whatever. Be that way. This way we go. Oh. <laughs> nice timing, Flare. Alright. What do we got? What is... Wait, you have the key to that other door? Red, why, why are you inside of a giant furnace thing? This isn't okay. <laughs> oh. I. You want me to? Those are huge freaking hooks. You want me to kill you? I. 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 Why? Uh, is that allowed? Do I have to do this? Is this wow. Cross. That's kind of... Huh. I... I don't know. Do I want to do this? I'm going to go check that. There is another door. I'm going to go check. And... There is one other door. I want to check that and not be too hasty. Yeah, it's this door up here. So it's probably the door to the end of the game. Need some lever to open it and jot it down. Nope. 
Located the door that Red has been leading me to. I need to get it open. Oh, so this is the way out. Newer. Yeah. But, okay. I need to get a lever or something. But I need to get a key to this locked door, which Red has. And the only way... And he specifically told me the only way I can get it, the key from him, is by pushing this button. Oh. Oh, gosh dang it. Just because I'm only... Oh, I hate this game. I hate this game. I'm not gonna watch. I don't wanna watch this. Oh. 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 I don't know why. Why? Why? I've gotta be the worst. Oh, man. I can't. I can't. I, I can't. Little, oh. Yeah, I am sorry. Yep. It's okay. It's over, man. Oh, the key. All that to get this key. Oh, all right. I uh, er, hold on. Was he trying to keep something hidden, or was he really trying to protect me? One way to find out. Oh, wow, this is like the key to his office, or whatever. I'm gonna hit this real quick. In case I need to restart the game because of my mouse failures. The change on his arms of his oh this one's different. Oh crap, this is about Howard. This is about Dad. Howard knows the real deal. F wow. Real fear. Can I just leave it here, please? Um, what the heck? What are you? Well, that's supposed to be big. Cat uh <laughs> whatever it is. Red managed to catch and kill it. Oh, there's a radio in here. Um, oh, that's how he was talking to me, wasn't it? My dearest friend. Okay, I'm going to actually read through this one. Because... Oh, I'm going to pretend I did not see that last page. Holy crap. Okay. My dearest friend, how are you? <laughs> I'm going to try to read this in his voice. I am as well as I... As well as, well as can be expected. I have some sad news, though. A few days ago, there was some kind of collapse, and some of the ceiling of the cave fell in on me. What scares me is that I was in an off-limits part of the mine. They may not look for me here, but if they do, and they find me, I'll be in so much trouble. But I don't think I'll have to worry about that, because I'm not sure I'll be getting out of here. I don't mind so much. I've been working in the mine for about three weeks now, and I'm really proud that I can send money home. But it's pretty tough work, and so far you're the only person that's been really nice to me. Plus, I have some nice company down here. There's some friendly kind of creepy crawlies, friendly kind of creepy crawlies, <laughs> and some books I brought from home that I was taking to the rec room. If you think about it, I was really, I was really quite lucky. I had all this stuff with me. Otherwise, I'd be bored stiff. As it is, I have Shakespeare. Bron uh, I don't know, Bronte, and I'm not going to try to pronounce that one right here. Perfect bedtime reading. Although I suppose I might be trapped here long enough that I have time to read them twice. I always used to ask my mum <laughs> how long people survive without food. Now I'm going to slip into this accident on things. I read how some people can survive underwater for over five minutes, and some people last in the desert for weeks. But she always said you had three minutes of air three days of water, etc. I suppose I'll probably find out soon enough. If I had to guess, I could find food around the place. Like I said, there's all sorts of creatures here, but they're better off as my friends than my lunch. I wonder whether I shall starve to death or go cra or go cave crazy first. <laughs> Neither sounds too much fun, I guess. But if I had to choose, I'd say I want to go mad. It sounds like an adventure. Tom Redwood Proper mine worker, December 
1970. Oh, maybe that might be why he called himself Red, because Red would, yeah, I don't know. Age 14. That's what I was like, I don't know if I want to look at that. He was 14 years old. 14. Oh, goody. Uh, he was 14 years old. Uh, uh, 14. That is... That's horrible. That is not... And in the world of a 14-year-old, ha ha ha. Oh, that looks like a big nope. That was his toilet. Pet, pet slugs. Woo! Oh, man. Ration slugs. Oh, that's what he ate. Even better. Funny place to have any like. <gasps> is it for that door? Hold on, my mouth is stuck again. I swear, if this is for that door. Wait, I have a screwdriver. What am I doing? I'm stupid sometimes. Maybe running out to the door. Yep. So what do I... Do? I have a wire cutter. Maybe. Yeah. Is that it? Oh wait, I have a crowbar. Uh, and I have a stuck mouse. Oh well, whatever, I'll just do this. As I stepped inside to the mouth of the underground facility, there should have been questions, fears, doubts running through me. Instead, I was torn in two. Pardon me, I felt I died, along with my soul, or what? <laughs> Pardon me, I felt had died, along with my only ally and friend. His final words had raised more questions than they'd answered, and I couldn't get his screams for a help out of him in my head, despite knowing, deep down, that all the pain I had caused Red was, itself, all the help I could have offered him. I was alone again, but I had nothing to do other than press on into the unknown. If I'd felt so bad about Red, I should have listened to him and stayed where I was. I would have traded to his fate a hundred times for my own. The other side of me was looking forward to see my, what might await me in my continued journey. I felt sure that I would soon find some clue or other to my father's fate, and that he wasn't inextricably linked to everything that was happening. I also couldn't help but suspect that everything I had seen up until that point were just the simp... Uh, I don't know... I don't know... of whatever just lay... whatever lay just beyond the threshold. I know I was right. Or I know now I was right. Alright, what do we got? A letter! Welcome to the shelter. It's out this 1973... Uh, elevated cast 4, chief staff 6, floor cast 39, temporary 8, population 57 people. Key members, uh, blah, 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 lots of people. Please have your identity documents ready. Oh, snap. Last updated. 18, I don't know. I don't know what that would be. I don't know. Uh, February 18th of 2000, maybe? I don't know. My father was the chief... Uh, yeah. Chief translator in 73 to present time. And now I know my last name, La... Uh, I don't know how you pronounce that. Hold on. Uh, how would you pronounce that? That would be La... Uh, la... 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 Luff, luff, I'm ah, screwed. That looks like French. I'm not in the mood of trying that out. Exit, but I just. Oh, are we just going further into this mess? We are, aren't we? 
I feel like we're setting the stage for Black Plague. <gasps> oh, that is a big no. That's a no. Hi. This is a no. That door. This is a no. This is a big no. This is a big no. Welcome to... This has to be setting the stage for Black Plague. No other explanation. What the... Oh, jeez. Jump scares. Yeah. With that, the man who had first descended into the mine was no more, and so began my next chapter. To be continued. I've got to give this a round of applause. The first episode or game of Penumbra, that is Penumbra Overture. <laughs> that was an intense, intense, intense game. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna start Black Plague right away, man. This is such an awesome storyline. Um, such an awesome storyline. I love how well developed it is. I love it so much more than amne than any of the amnesias. Because it's the the fear factor is so much it it's just a lot more present. I mean and it ha I mean yes you have the option to kill the monsters, or at least in this one he did, but the fear factor is through the roof. That's like, insane. And the puzzle oh my gosh, the puzzles that <laughs> the puzzles are really they're puzzling. Um, thank y'all so much for sticking out throughout this whole series. I look forward to playing the next game. Till then, guys. Bye! Oh, actually, it looks like it's almost done. <laughs> for more information on the next episode, go to... But, <laughs> wouldn't it be Penumbra-Black Plague? Instead of over oh, whatever, I don't even care. But... This really has been something else. Is that all the credits? I just wanted to get the credits in, you know, for copyright sakes. Yes. Next time we, next time y'all watch me, this will say Penumbra Black Plague. Bye. And now there's arrows pointing what way to go. That's normal. Oh. Hi. What is that? That is an excellent question. There's something on that table. And it looks like an alien. What the... Weird.